Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about dictionary merging in Python 3.9 and how this has become a lot more simple. I hope you can see this, but I have enabled Python 3.9 here. And first of all, let's just paste in a few pre-written dictionaries. You can imagine these dictionaries as representing sales, for instance, in an e-commerce application. And these are, of course, very simplified. So here in dictionary one, the sales is that I've sold five apples, three oranges, and seven bananas. And in dictionary two is kind of the update, where now we've sold seven apples, four oranges, and one pineapple. We've still sold seven bananas, but the dictionary two is just simply the update of what more we've sold. So how can we merge these two dictionaries so that the new information in dictionary two is incorporated into dictionary one? First of all, there is previous ways of doing this in Python. The most common previous way of doing this is to specify that my new dictionary should now be spreading all the values from dictionary one into here and spreading the values from dictionary two into here. So this is called dictionary unpacking sometimes. And now if I print the values of dictionary three, you can see that what I actually get here is the updated version. This works fine. So this way it creates a new dictionary. There's also a way of just modifying your dictionary in place. So I can take my first dictionary and I simply want to update the dictionary. So I can just use the update method, pass in dictionary two. If I do this, then dictionary one has been permanently modified. So if I check out dictionary one, Then you can see now that this is the same result as in dictionary three. So what's new in Python 3.9? What is new is that we have now an operator for handling these things instead of doing this more ad hoc approach. So if I want to do the same thing as this thing here, meaning making a new dictionary with the updated information, then I will simply make, let's call it again, dictionary three, I'll make dictionary one, and then I'll use the pipe symbol and then I join this with dictionary two. So this here is now called the union operator and it does precisely the same as this. It simply updates dictionary one with the new information of dictionary two. Now to be clear, let me just uncomment this since I, here I've permanently modified dictionary one. Let me again print dictionary three. You can now see that this gives precisely the same result. This union operator is meant for making new dictionaries, while there is also an in-place operation that can be used for updating. So if I simply say dict1 and then pipe equals, this is the operator for in-place modification. So now by doing this, I permanently modified dictionary one to include the updates from dictionary two. So let me just print this out to make sure. So now that I print out dictionary one, you can see that all of these things are actually the same. I should note very strongly that this is not commutative, meaning that it really does matter which order you do things. So let's say here that instead I change up the order like this and run the thing. Then you can see now that the second thing here is different than the others. This is because I take the information in dictionary two and update it with dictionary one information. So first now I had seven apples and then it suddenly reduced to five. So now five will be the output here, as you can see. So be really careful that the order you're doing dictionary merging in is correct. If you need more values, then you can simply just chain them on. So here, let me go back to the usual one, first dictionary one and two, and I can just chain on more stuff. So if I want to make a new dictionary, maybe I sell some kiwis and I've sold 50 of them. You can really see here that I can just chain on the operation and it just works fine. So if I do that now, I'll also have a kiwis column with 50. So let's take a look at the second example to see how dictionary merging can be used in practice. So of course, this again is a toy example since the size of my dictionaries is so small, but it can illustrate an important point. So here we have one dictionary called employees at the main branch, which is James and Alice with their email james at main.com and alice at main.com. We also have employees at a secondary branch of the company where Alice also works and additionally Bob works. What I now want to do is to make an all employees dictionary if you want to just pause the video for a couple of seconds to type this out and see how you might do this. So to do this, I will use a new Python notation in 3.9. So I will use this one since I'm making a new dictionary and the order now is a bit important. It depends on what I want. What I would like to want is that for the people who overlap, in this example meaning Alice, I should just keep the main email address. In that case, what I need to do is to take the secondary one and update it with the information of the first one. So now if I print this out, whoops, I forgot that it's all employees, just 
paste this out. Then I can see that we have Alice, Bob, and James. All of the people are here. And for Alice, who is in both, then only the main address is remained. So this is really all there is about dictionary merging in the new Python 3.9. You have the union operator and you have the union in place operator. I really hope that this made the new Python 3.9 syntax clear and that you can confidently now use it yourself.